I recently started renovations on this 40 year old house and now it's time to give a much needed update to these old outdated tile floors. I'm very excited to be partnering with Rust-Oleum on this project and using their product Rust-Oleum Home. Check out how I quickly gave old tiles a much needed modern update. And welcome to Maker Gray. As you can see, these tiles are old and unattractive. They have a color that we don't care for and no matter how much we clean them, they never look clean. Removing tile is messy, costly, and a ton of work. So I was excited when I found this Rust-Oleum Home two-step system to instead update the tiles. It's inexpensive and super easy. Okay, I'm ready to do some prep work. Normally I would take some tape, some painter's tape, and tape off the baseboards so they don't get painted. But these are old and dingy and we wanna get rid of them. So I'm gonna pull them up, paint, and then I'll replace them with new ones in the end. Again, this step is not necessary. This was just a good time for us to replace our old baseboards and door trim. A quick tip when removing baseboards is to put a putty knife between the wall and the pry bar. This works well at preventing damage to your drywall as you pry the baseboards loose. And this was my first look at how gross it was underneath these old baseboards. Like what happened? Ooh, it's almost like somebody spilled something. Ugh. I worked my way around until all the baseboards were removed, being sure to also remove any caulk left on the floor. I'm so glad I made the extra effort for this step. I feel better knowing it's now clean behind those super gross baseboards, and as you'll see in the end, the new ones look so much better. And again, you don't have to do this step. If your baseboards are fine, you can just tape off your perimeter to protect anything you don't want painted. One of the most important steps in this process is to clean the floor. I started by vacuuming to remove any dirt and debris, and then I moved to a deeper clean with this amazing product made by Rust-Oleum called Crud Cutter, which in my opinion is the best cleaner and degreaser. Getting a deep clean on your floor is very important because removing dirt, grime, and grease will really help the paint adhere properly. No matter how many times we've cleaned these tiles in the past, they've always looked dirty. So for this old floor, I decided to go extra and use a scrubber with the Crud Cutter. And man, finally a product that really gave these old tiles a deep clean. Ooh, she dirty. That's so gross. You can really see it here where I've cleaned the bottom tiles but haven't yet cleaned the top. So much cleaner. I'd scrub a section with the crud cutter and then use fresh water to mop it clean. I'd then move to the next section until I worked my way around the whole floor. And finally, on to paint. I'm gonna be painting my tile, but this system is also great for vinyl, laminate, wood, concrete, and more. I chose my base coat in black, but you can also pick from a lot of other pre-mixed options, or you can even tint to your desired color at the paint desk. These are legit. There's no sanding or priming needed before application, so I just went right in and started. I used a paintbrush and I cut in my perimeter. And again, I didn't tape off the bottom of my walls because I'm going to be covering them with new baseboards once I'm done with the floors. I then got out my roller to paint the rest of the base coat using a 3 8 inch roller to get the smoothest finish. painted in sections, keeping a wet edge to ensure a uniform finish, and starting from the back so I could paint myself out. I also worked in socks while I was painting, so I didn't add any dirt to the clean floors from my shoes. Most colors of this paint only require a one coat application, and I've gotta say, this paint is thick and coverage was fantastic after only one coat. The floor can be gently walked on in only six hours, so if your floor needs a second coat, you only have to wait a few hours to apply it. After the dry time, I was on to part two, the clear top coat. I chose mine in a matte finish. I cleaned any dust and debris off the floor with a tack cloth, and then I started in the farthest corner and rolled on the top coat, only this time I used a quarter inch roller. 
I worked in sections keeping a wet edge and this step is just as easy as the first. The top coat goes on with a milky tint, but it dries totally clear. Only one coat is required and it needs 24 hours to dry before you can gently walk on it. One final step for my particular space was to add on the new modern baseboards. I cut them all the length and then attached them with one of my favorite tools, my 18 gauge pin nailer. I then caulked the trim and man, what an improvement from the original boards. And with these new baseboards on, this floor project was done. As a reminder, here is the before. Old dingy brown tile that's outdated and never looks clean and expensive and messy to remove. And here is where we are now. This Rust-Oleum home system is the update these tiles needed. And I absolutely love the transformation. This project really gave the kickoff to our whole home renovation and set the updated tone we're looking for. I love the contrast of colors between the black floors, the new modern baseboards and the white walls, and pops of wood tones and color. And speaking of walls and baseboards, you can see that I still have some to update. Stay tuned here and on Instagram to see how I update these dated textured walls, add new baseboards, and build some new furniture as well. Please leave any questions you may have below and subscribe if you're not already. I have many home renovation projects to come. I'm excited to give this house the renovation it deserves. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've been inspired to tackle your own floors. I'll see you on the next project.